One of the up-and-coming wine-tasting destinations is the Valle de Guadalupe, just a few miles south of the San Diego, California border. There are over a hundred wineries and numerous YouTube videos that you can view to guide you to tourist favorites. We begin the day at a popular restaurant frequented by the locals. Freshly made corn tortillas, lamb, and regional dishes are available and at good Mexican peso prices. The valley still retains a countryside feel to it and produces olives, olive oil, and honey. Of course, the main attraction are the wines. Along the road, you'll see many vineyards and unique lodging like these huge wine barrel like rooms for rent. Our visit today centers on a winery established by a Russian family. Originally the Biba Yo farm was an orange orchard, but little by little vineyards are replacing the citrus trees. What were Russians doing in this part of the world? The answer is found in the museum inside the tasting room that enables the visitor to learn about the history of the Molokan, or white Russian group, that ended up in the valley in 1904. About a hundred families fled religious persecution in Russia in search of a place to live in peace. We met David Bivayov, the grandson of the original settlers, and he spoke about the Russian community as we sampled his award-winning wines. Visitors can view photos and documents of the immigrants in the museum. Winery's store has a definite Russian arts and crafts selection and they are proud of their heritage as seen by this photo op. It was time to continue to the town of Guadalupe to visit the cemetery where many of the original settlers are buried. The cemetery is somewhat neglected today and some of the headstones in Cyrillic are of the original inhabitants. Many were farmers who lived a simple life, initially raising small farm animals and later planted vineyards that have become the main attraction to the valley. A few of the original families remain, while many later immigrated to the United States for better opportunities. We leave the Russian cemetery so as not to interfere with their long and peaceful sleep.